Okay, so with this, we're gonna try and finish up this head today. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix this edge looping so it goes. Um, I'm gonna bring it up over here and bring it over here, um, and then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go into vertex mode here. And I'm just going to collapse this head like so. I'm going to round this out just a hair. And we're just going to go down the edge here and collapse this edge all together. Now that looks okay. And then that looks fine. What I'm going to do is, because I, what I want to do is basically create as <coughs> little um, and I think I'm going to cut down here and that way I'm going to cut all the way down and then I can go in here and just grab a couple of these and shift them around here I'm going to grab these now these are these can be pulled down a little bit. This I'm going to pull over here, and I can just rotate. Play with this a little bit, rotate it around. So all I'm doing is I'm, I'm spreading these these top ones out here. Um, so that they're a little bit more even with they're a little bit more even with the uh, with the head. They're not they're not so tight up there. Also, adding in um, geometry to make it a little bit more square. Um, it's going to give you a lot of uh, connect this right here. Oops, three isn't good, so let's go back and change our connects here. Alright, um, and then I'm going to just move this a little bit forward. So what I'm doing is I'm just spreading out this, this head a little bit more um, so that we can get a, a little bit better. Let's see if we can loop this. minus this. So I'm just gonna start by pulling this one out. And you wanna just go in, collapse those two down. Um, that looks fine for now. Go back, pull it a little bit out more, and then I'm gonna just pull it in to round it out. Maybe pull it down a little bit more. Collapse this one. And then it basically as we do this, we just kind of resize and adjust all the way down. And another thing we can do is start by bridging and we actually have to go here start by bridging these and then by doing that we can connect those together grab that one area here and start pulling this out all right and let's bridge And start capping these these together here. All right. And I'm just gonna start pulling this down a little bit. And 
And while this is not, you know, I'm not putting a whole lot of geometry in there. I just want the, the base of the, the character there. So I'm just trying to map this out as much as possible. something like so that looks that looks good now where the ear comes in it's going to be a little bit different so we'll, we'll have to play with that another thing is over here by the chin um, we're gonna have to do this a little bit differently as well too um, what we're going to do here, and I'm just going to kind of slowly pull some of these out here. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to go on this edge here and grab these four, and I'm going to pull those in just a hair. Now that's going to give me the jawline or the back of the jawline, and then what I can do is pull that out, and I'll grab these four here. And I'm going to just pull those in a little bit more so I have a little bit, little bit kind of a forward jawline. Um, let's pull this out like some like so. Um, and that looks good. And then <clears throat> I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to start by angling it a little bit more to give a softer jawline. So we can actually start pulling some of these out here. like so and that'll line up better with the back end here and then I'm gonna go in and grab these and I'm gonna pull that a little bit down and angled out and that's gonna give me the ridge for the the base there and the reason I didn't do all of it at the same time is because what we're going to start doing is creating an edge loop around here so I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna connect that and then I'm gonna grab these two. I'll connect those. And I'm going to pull that out a little bit more. So that's kind of our first first loop. And let's go in here and pull this back a little bit more. I'm going to just pull it back and down. Grab these two, collapse those together, and make sure those are in and back. Same thing with these. It's going to create my jawline right there. And I'm going to connect these two. As you can see now, I've got, I can actually start spreading these apart a little bit here. And this is, this is, you know, something you'll have to do is just kind of tweak things around here and there and, and play around with them. So, <clears throat> I'm just trying to make sure I get all quads in there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... Let's see here. How shall I do this? Let's let's do the top of the head first. Let's close as much as we can here. So let's um, scroll up, hit bridge, and I'm going to bridge this one and this one. And looks like I need to collapse that. Yeah. Now here. This is going to need a little bit more work. So what we're going to do 
So I think we're just going to add some more geometry in here. So we're going to bring that, connect it, and pull it outward. And that's going to round the head out and give me another scroll down, go to bridge. Okay, so that's that's good. And then let's uh, grab this, collapse this, or connect this, move it inward a little bit, and that's going to give me two edges to work with here. So let's um, and go to bridge. So there we go. And let's start with bridging some stuff down here. So we're going to take, let's see here, we're going to take this one, bridge it with that one, take this one, bridge it with that one, and we're going to take this one and bridge it with that one. Now, these are really cutting off the, 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 stuff we need here so let's connect this here and we're just going to pull that out here and that'll round that out all right so by rounding that out actually we're just going to go something like that yeah that's pretty close so by rounding that out now what I've done is I've actually created more geometry to work with. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab, I think we're going to, because we're going to have to connect this twice. So we're going to grab this, connect this, and I'm going to round this out, like so. And then we're going to grab this and connect that. And round it out. Notice I'm always rounding out. Um, it's less work down the road. So let's figure this out here. So if I take this one and I bridge this one to this one and then I bridge this one to this one that closes that up. Now this doesn't look good yet because of the, the geometry. It should flow up into there. Um, and we're going to play with this a little bit. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this one into here. And then I'll collapse this one. And that gives me my edge loop. Still gives me my four sides. And I think we're okay yet. But this over here, what we're going to do is we are going to... We're going to start by connecting around that out a little bit and let's start by getting this all this all tightened up together here. So let's um, really make a shortcut key for connect at this point in time but so let's go like that so I'm going to connect these two and then at the bottom here what we're going to do is you know what I think I'm going to just cut this real quick here. That gives me my edge loop, my four spots. That looks good. And let's start by trying to connect that right there. And that looks good. And let's uh,
bridge this one. So now we just have to make three here. Um, what we can do is do this a couple different ways. First, we're going to cut this one and this one. And that's going to give me There we go. Collapse that. And then collapse that. And then we're just going to cut this all the way down like so. And we'll tweak that a little bit. Okay, so it's just a matter of going in there, kind of fixing these fixing these up. Okay, so once that's all done, looks like I'm, already, like I'm already at about 16 minutes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this and we'll finish up the back of the year on the next one.